Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best settings for Minecraft Java Edition and we're going to be looking at the best settings to get the most performance and most FPS boosts in your game. I am currently running the latest version of Minecraft at the moment which is version 1.17.1 and I'm going to be doing this without any mods so I'm not going to be using Optifine and I'm not going to be using Sodium. This is purely going to be the vanilla based settings. So I'm going to show you the best settings which I like to use to get more FPS in my Minecraft game and hopefully these settings should help you guys if you guys are on a low end machine or if you guys are getting lower FPS and you're not using any mods then hopefully you can try and use these settings to get more FPS and more performance boosts in your game. So let's go ahead and take a look at the best Minecraft settings to use in your Minecraft Java game to give you the best FPS performance. All right, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete my options file. So I'm going to go into the main Minecraft directory and to do that, just go into the installation section, highlight the line which says latest release or any of the lines there, and then click on the folder icon, which should take you to your Minecraft directory. Now I'm going to delete my options .txt file and the reason for that is that I want my options to revert to the default settings and then I'm going to change them from then on. So let's close this down and now I can launch the latest release which is version 1.17.1. Alright let's maximize this. I am also using Fraps as you guys can see in the top right corner there on my screen. One of the main reasons of using Fraps is that it's going to give you the true reflection of what FPS you are getting compared to using the in-game console display information. Alright so let's go into our game and then we're going to start changing our settings to see what kind of FPS we get. By default the game does actually set your default settings to have the VSync option on. As you guys can see I actually do have VSync turned on. I am getting a constant 60 FPS on the top right there of my screen. Let me go into the options and actually turn off VSync so we can just have a look at what kind of FPS I would be getting in the default settings. Let me make the max frame rate unlimited as well. So there we go. As you guys can see, I am getting close to 350, 370 FPS there. It does actually dip down to 290 there, but on average, I would say I am getting close to 350 FPS. Now, these are on the default settings, so depending on your machine, you might be getting lower or higher FPS compared to that. But at the moment, in this scene, I am getting on average 350 FPS. So let me go back into my options and we're going to start changing a few of the settings and hopefully that should give us more FPS. All right, so the very first thing I would actually change is the FOV. Some of you like to play with high FOV, but do bear in mind that it can actually affect your FPS in your game. So let me just quickly show you if I actually turn my FOV to the maximum, which is the Quake Pro setting, as you guys can see, my FPS does actually drop. So I am getting 290 FPS. Now before I was getting 350, but my FPS has actually dropped to 300, 290. And that is because of the FOV being really high. Now, if I actually turn my FOV down, so the default is actually set to 70. But let's go ahead and change that to 60, which does actually make everything much closer, but it does actually boost your FPS, believe it or not. And as you guys can see, it is giving me much higher FPS. I am actually getting to the 400 FPS mark there just by changing my FOV, as you guys can see. All right, the next thing I'm actually going to do is go into the options, and then now we're going to go into video settings. And in the video settings, we are going to change quite a lot of things in here to hopefully give us even more FPS. Now, the very first thing I would actually do is for the biome blend, we can actually go ahead and put that to off, which is the fastest setting, as you guys can see. For the graphics, obviously, we do have to change that to fast. And for the render distance, I have actually found the sweet spot to be at six. Some people do like to play on the eight render distance, eight chunks, but I think six is much better. It does actually give you slightly more performance because it is obviously lower than eight and we can actually see stuff ahead. So let's go ahead and set that to six and see how that looks. For the smooth lighting, we can actually just leave that as it is. It doesn't really make much of a difference on the FPS. VSync, obviously you want to make sure that that is turned off. The max frame rate, 
obviously make sure that is set to unlimited so you can actually see the maximum highest fps you can get we can just go down and go to the cloud setting over here and i do like to play with the clouds turned off and then if we look at the particles the lower setting for the particles is actually minimal so you can go ahead and change that to minimal if we look at the other settings map map levels i'm going to change that to off entity shadows to off as well and then turn all of these sliders to the very left of the screen there to make them the lowest possible settings so let's go ahead and do that for entity distance distortion effects and fov effects so as you guys can see most of these settings have actually been turned to off and i've changed the graphics to the fast preset and i've turned the clouds off as well now these are the video settings which i think would give you a much higher fps in your game so let's click on done and let's wait for that to reload and now we can actually go to some other settings as well so obviously we do have the other settings in here we can actually go to chat settings as well one of the things i like to do is change my focused height for the chat settings to 100 px also going to change the width to 160 px there like so we go back into our main options there and then click on accessibility settings i do like to turn on this setting which is the monochrome logo and that actually makes everything in black as opposed to the red mojang loading screen all of the other settings in this section i'm not really going to touch these are just the optional settings which i like to play with and they shouldn't really have much of an impact on your actual fps or performance we go to controls obviously you can change your control settings here you can also change your mouse sensitivity in the mouse section in terms of the actual performance the video settings is the main thing to look out for when we're changing our settings so let's actually go back into our game and see what kind of fps we can get with the new video settings and as you guys can see i am now touching close to a thousand fps whereas before i was getting only 350 fps on the normal settings and just by tweaking the settings slightly and making them much lower in the settings there i am getting close to a thousand fps now bear in mind this is without any mods and without any stuff like sodium or optify and if i was to use those programs obviously i might get slightly higher but this is pretty good for the default vanilla minecraft game which is able to actually give me 1100 fps as you guys can see there and all i've done is just change the settings and tone them down slightly for those of you who were worried about playing on the six render distance personally i think it does look okay it's not that bad if you guys are finding it troublesome you can change it to eight or higher depending on your personal requirements but for me i think the six render distance is completely fine as you guys can see i'm now playing in the daytime and i am getting 950 fps which is really good for the vanilla game whereas before i was only getting 350 fps so if you guys are on the vanilla game with no mods installed you can try out these settings and hopefully that should give you a boost one more thing to note is that if you guys are playing in windowed mode then switching to full screen mode might actually give you even more fps so let's give that a go now i am currently in windowed mode as you guys can see i'm going to press f11 on my keyboard as you guys can see i am now getting 1200 fps jumping close to 1300 fps and all i've done is i've actually switched it to full screen mode so if you guys are playing it on windowed mode i would highly recommend you play it on full screen mode to get even more fps to summarize basically play on full screen mode go to options change your fov to a lower than normal setting so i've set mine to 60 obviously you guys can play on normal or higher if you are finding the lower fov troublesome and then go to video settings and try and change everything to the lower setting on this section of the screen there and see how that improves your fps if you guys do have any comments or queries about the best minecraft settings for highest fps on low end systems then do leave them in the comment section below if you have enjoyed the video please do give us a like and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching